Hey guys, um, I thought it might be fun to actually um, do a video footage from the coffee shop that I, you all know and love now and are probably quite familiar with. Um, today I wanted to show you guys my reading journal. This is a new thing that I have just recently gotten into. I didn't really know that these were a thing that could exist, but anyway, um, so for it I chose to use a mixed media book. I got this sketchbook from just my local craft store. I think I was at a Joanne's, yeah. I really liked the concept of doing mixed media because I knew that then I could do anything from watercolor to, uh, you know, any other type of coloring and anything like that. So here's the first page of the reading journal. And because this is a new thing and um, it is 2022, uh, here's my 2022 beginning. And so I just kind of like doodled and drew all over this and colored a bunch. So I'm really excited about that. But um, I realized the reason why I wanted to even start this in the first place is because I realized over the past two years I've become quite an avid reader um, and also a writer as you already know. So I realized I might as well actually just start off with the year 2020 and 2021. So today we're just going to go over the books that I've read specifically. I'll go, I'll talk about the ones from 2021 because I thought that would be really nice. The other thing that I thought would be cool is to even talk about books that I've written. So for those of you who have not read Rose Gilder, I just got to write a little bit about that and I was excited to be able to do that. The format that I followed is really simple. Basically, all I do is for each page, I look at the title, the author, the year that it was written, which I still need to fill in for a mess of these, and then also I write a from as in where I got it from, was it a gift, or was it at a specific type of store, um, so that is what I write. And then I also add a however many stars, I basically rate the book out of five, and if I found the book particularly enjoyable, I add in a little blurb about what I thought about the book. I've seen a lot of these around recently, and here's one from 2021. Um, I've seen a lot of these around and I thought they were cool, but one thing that I didn't like was that it seemed to be focused a lot about stats and a lot about how many books are you reading and how quickly are you reading them, but for me, I think I feel I have a lot more of a, I guess for me, I just feel like I have a really emotional attachment to the books I read, so I wanted it to be more journal, less statistics, so all I really have for each thing is where I got the book and what I rated it as and I just talk about you know how much I enjoyed it or not the other thing that I did differently from other books uh, book journals is that um, a lot of people will actually print out the covers of books but for me I thought it would be a lot more fun to actually just draw them myself um, this was a really powerful book let me know if you guys are interested in this and I'll go into more of the books I read in 2020, but I know that that's a little bit outdated at this point, I guess, so I figured I would just focus on 2021, but yeah, I just thought it would bring a really nice personal touch, and it's also just really fun to try to draw things myself, so um, yeah, with that, let's go ahead and get into it. So one book, one of the first books I read, or this honestly are not in a particular order because I actually did not, I was, you know, just doing this from memory, so I don't remember what order I read them in. Um, once we talk about 2022, I am writing these in a very specific order, so I just start with the first book I read, but we'll get to that in a moment. So we have the one by Kira Cass, and I read the, sec the other two books in her trilogy last year, um, but so this was the third book, and I went ahead and read it, and I thought it was cool, um, but I only was able to give it three stars for various reasons. <laughs> I think that it just didn't end the way I wanted it to. I just wanted there to be more depth, but that's okay. Love, Hate, and Other Filters was by Samira Ahmed, and I literally love this so much, so anytime I really love a book, I figured I would, or had a lot of feelings about it, I decided to write a little blurb. So I really enjoyed this book. I said, it's a beautiful premise and heartwarming characters. It was enjoyable to see her following her dreams to really go after her real passion despite her parents' wishes. Very sweet and intriguing heart. Yeah, it definitely was really nice, and it's a really classic kind of fiction, young adult book, coming of age kind of thing. I also really like books by this author because I do not know that much about the Muslim community, so it's really ex 
exciting to be able to learn about people that are from maybe a different um, cultural or racial background than myself. And so I love being able to read books like that. So this is by Samir Ahmed and I gave it four stars. Then we've got Rune and Rising. So I actually read the first two books of that series earlier um, in 2020. So the Shadow and Bone series is the third one in it. I got it from Barnes & Noble, which I actually got most of my books at Barnes & Noble, as you'll be able to see. This book was so good. The whole time, the whole series, I loved amazingly. But I will say that even though I could only give, I can only give this one three and a half stars, as opposed to the others, which I gave both five stars, because it just the way that the pacing worked and whatnot, it just seemed to be dragging a bit for me. And I guess the other two were so excellent that the last one it made me kind of upset. Plus, for me, I just kind of shipped different characters <laughs> that ended up being shipped in the end, which is just kind of more of a personal problem. It has nothing to do with this incredible author, Leigh Bardugo. I would highly recommend this uh, series for anyone. Okay, so now we get to what I consider to be a completely five star series. I really love this, these books um, Divergent, Insurgent, and Elysian. I mean, I know that this is like probably really outdated because you know for me a lot of what I've been discovering with reading is that there are books that have been out for a while but when they came out I was too busy like being a sad high school student that was just you know filled with all kinds of homework that I had to do that I wasn't able to read them so I'm able to re-enjoy things that I probably should have already read but I don't really care because I'm able to enjoy it now. So yeah, I wrote a lot about this, but please just go and read it if you haven't already. It was literally beautiful, it was so encouraging, and I really loved, I talked about here, here the social commentary, the struggles of dystopia, romance. There's just so much that happened in this book, and it took me a while to finish Allegiant because I read most of it, but when I got to like the last couple chapters, I broke down crying. So then I had to come back like a week later to finish it because I was just so emotional. And that just shows how attached I had become to the characters in it. Um, I haven't actually read four yet, which is the last book in the series. We'll see if I get to that at some point, but I honestly just like these because they were mostly from Tristan's perspective, so definitely enjoy that. Okay, now we get to the section where of all the books that I was really upset at this year. <laughs> so first we have Glass Sword and then we have King's Cave. So Victoria Aviard, she's the author of the Red Queen series. She is an incredible writer, first of all. I love Red Queen. And so I think that's what made me so upset about Glass Sword and King's Cage because Glass Sword was just dragging. I literally gave it a two and King's Cage, I, I just, I basically gave up reading Glass Sword and just tried to start reading King's Cage because I was, it was just dragging so much and I just, it, I was so uninvested, which made me really sad, but, so I went on to the third book. This one is actually so much better, but for me, I really realized that I feel like her style was more, like, it just seemed like the main character was kind of like a depressed robot. She wasn't really being like vulnerable with your feelings and emotions and stuff. So I think for me, it just was kind of a downer as I was reading it. But I think that's probably more of a personal taste as opposed to like the way she actually wrote the book. So it was really good and I would highly recommend it. It's, I think it's probably a great series for anyone. For me, I think I was just so busy being filled with like, at the same time that I was reading these, I was reading these and I was, the, these were like filling me with so much happiness and joy and you know it's just there was a roller coaster of emotions so comparing that to this maybe it's just the timing maybe I should try reading them again um, because seriously they do have like a really great cover and really great different kind of social commentaries and whatnot so maybe I'll try that again for 2022 we shall see sorry guys because I'm in the back okay then we get to betrothed okay um honestly i was very upset i was very upset at this so gear cash she's really great oh, i actually misspelled her name i'm sorry she is the writer of the books i was telling you about before you know the selection series but i was so upset with this book so upset because she literally there was just so many things it just felt like it was cookie cutter and boring and i didn't understand the plot and i couldn't even sympathize with the main character that's just i don't know that's just maybe me i think what was hard about it was that i really felt like the cover was so beautiful but then when i was reading it i was like no it's so lacking depth and again i think that's just kind of the consequence of when you're trying to read these books at the same time as reading these books so but no i honestly think this one was just like not great that being said, Kira Cass is generally a very magical author, and I think she's great, but this one was a no. Um, okay, then we get to The Love and Gelato series uh, by Jenna Evans-Welsh, and 
then her other book, Love and Luck. She actually has a third one, which is Love and Olives, which I'm reading right now. So I won't be able to comment on that until I finish. But yeah, literally, I gave them both, like this one five stars, this one four stars. Like I love these so much. Got them both from Barnes and Nobles, and I'm like so 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 cute. Ah, blah, blah, blah. You know, I just really love both of these. I love these so much, and they're just they make you feel good. They make you happy. They make you cry and tear up and there's a lot between brothers and sisters, there's a lot between family members, there's a lot of things with um, parents and family and getting all kinds of, you just get so many good feels and of course there's like the cuteness of romance between the characters and it's just so sweet and innocent and beautiful and I read these, read them, they're great. <laughs> okay, so then we get to The Way I Used to Be by Amber Smith. Okay, this book was literally very intense. Um, I would not say it's for the faint of heart. Uh, yeah, I started at the beginning saying this is really powerful. This book was a really great commentary on what can happen to so many young women who are um, exposed to different types of sexual assault. She talked about rape in this book and a, a girl's journey from um, being assaulted when she was a freshman in high school and then the effects of that throughout her high school career. Very powerful, very amazing. I actually read it through Kindle. So I don't have the physical book, but it was literally so good, but you're going to need some tissues for this, so, you know, buckle up when you read it, because it's very intense. I gave it a four and a half stars. Okay, so Mad, Bad, and Dangerous to Know. Okay, I am really upset because I really love the books by her. Um, as you can see, you know, I read, what was it? Uh, okay, I read this book by her, which I love, and I read The Intern of the Fighter, which I really loved. So I think I was just really upset by the time of getting to this one because I just didn't finish. Like, it just, there was so, I just feel like the main character was just kissing a boy the whole time. And so it felt like there was no plot. And like, seriously, it was like every page. She was like, oh yes, and then I kiss him again. And I'm just like, no. So I, I decided to not read it, but you know, if I was a per but the way that she was writing it, her style of writing, you know, I gave her four stars because she's just a really good author. But for me personally, it's just, that's just not my taste. So I didn't finish this one either. Um, there were a lot of good things about it though. There was a lot of, I mean, as usual, I really, oh, sorry about that. There's a lot of good things about it. Uh, I do love learning about culture. She just thought it was like Muslim and French and like all kinds of things and its history. And so there was a lot of like potential for this book. I think I was just upset that the main character was like, instead of going into all that depth and mystery and culture and religion and all that, she was just like kissing this random guy. I don't know. I was just really upset about that. So anyway, I ended up not finishing it, but at least it was a really beautiful cover. That made me happy. Okay, which brings us to the end. So War Leader is the second book in my in my own series. I haven't drawn it in yet um, and written about it, but I will. Um, I'm just, I like to give myself a little bit of time before putting it in for this, it's just because it's something that I've written myself and I'm going to see how different people who have read it receive it and the kind of reviews they give on it before I reflect completely on it for myself. So that brings us to the end of 2021. These are the books I read, and actually I'm thinking about it right now, and I'm realizing I'm probably going to need to add a couple more entries because I actually did read the last two books of this series, and I don't know how I forgot that I did that, but I did, and those are the, the what are they, the air and the, the something, I don't know. It's basically about her daughter, so there's like two more books in the series, so I'm going to write about those. Um... Let's see if I can quickly rate them. The first one is probably like three and a half. No, no, no. Yeah. Three and a half, and the second one is probably three. So not her strongest books, but I still enjoy them, basically. They're just like, some books are just kind of like fun. You know, I feel like, I think I'm just kind of a really deep person, so I tend to like things that are talking about race, religion, and like all kinds of like culture and you know, feminism and all kinds of things. Like, so, like, books like these and books that just make me feel really good and happy and talk about parental relationships and all kinds of things like that. So when you're just go running around in ball gowns just to be in a ball gown, it makes me more like, meh. But it doesn't mean that I'm not going to read it. It just means that I'm going to give it, like, a three, three and a half. But that's just me, and I think these are all very subjective. So 
that brings us to the end of this year for this coming year which is you know has already started i read one book and the one thing that i think i'm going to do this year since i'm actually reading writing about them as i actually read them as opposed to before which was just you know me trying to remember i'm going to probably give a full page entry for each one so the first book i've read so far is to all the boys i've loved before i'm going to talk about this when i do a new video at the end of 2022 um and yeah so i'll talk about that then but basically i had a lot of great thoughts a lot of different thoughts and whatnot. i gave it four stars um and yeah i just think it will make the book this journal even more full if i can just have a full page entry on my thoughts for each one as opposed to you know only writing about the ones that i really liked and really didn't like <laughs> anyway so that brings the end of the journal and you know remember to give a to like and subscribe it does support my channel it's really great and um i'm just gonna get back to this cookie and this chai so i <laughs> hope you guys have a good day and uh it's time for me to keep writing all right have a good day bye guys